Our world is in need of your presence. So much, so much, so much going against us until we feel that if ever that was a time we needed you, that time is now. God, your people are crying for a touch from you. Minds have become unstable. We're wandering from place to place. But God, we know that you are able and that your blood is sufficient. The enemy has intensified his attack against the righteous. It seems that he's given his little imps a message and say destroy the righteous at all costs. So many are falling by the wayside. Sickness is on the increase. Disease is covering our land. Drugs and drug addiction has infiltrated the ranks from the White House even to the gutter. But God, you're able. In the midst of this seemingly hopeless and helpless situation, you're yet God. We're not ashamed to stand in this place on this day and tell you that we need you. Our souls are crying for communion with you. Stretch out your hand. Children are dying. Children are killing one another. Young people are addicted to drugs and alcohol. And it seems that our sense of guidance has been misconstrued by the devil himself. But God, we need you. My soul is crying because I know that you're the only hope and help that we have. Even in this world where it seems the hearts of men have become hardened against you. Nobody seems to want to hear your word or get a hearing from you. But we're all being led by our own minds and our own feelings. But God, right now, we want to put the brakes on ourselves. And we want to wait for your divine guidance. Stretch out your hand. Somebody somewhere under the sound of my voice. Their souls are crying for you. They don't know which way to turn. They don't know what to do. But somehow or another you've allowed your spirit to get into their hands. And they found this station and they're hearing us cry right now. Lord turn a listening ear to our cries right now. Don't leave us alone, but bind the enemy on every hand. Satan, you're a disease. You come to destroy. You come to tear down. You come to uproot. But you're a lying wonder. I know what you're doing. I know what you're about. You come to take the joy from the saints. You come to put us in a state of depression and discouragement. You come to put us in a state of loneliness and disarray. But Satan, I bind you right now. By the power and authority of the Holy Ghost. I see you with the spiritual eye. And I refuse to allow you to take control here. Because according to the word of God, and that's all we got to stand up. Said one can put a thousand to flight and two ten thousand. And God, we're standing on the promise of your word. You promised that you would never leave us alone. Now, Lord, we need you. Your people need you. We're the sheep of your pasture. And somehow or another, we need you, Lord. Our souls are crying. Burdens have become too heavy to bear. Men have lost sight on your glory. It seems that we've lost connection with you. And the enemy has moved in like a flood. And the reason he's able to do what he's been doing is because somebody has not been reading your word. We got people that come from everywhere, but we're not knowledgeable of your word. But God, I know your word. I know what you said, and I know what you have done. And then I know what you promised. And right now, Lord, we need a touch from on high. We need a hearing from you. Somehow or another our souls are crying. We've got a lot of worldly knowledge. We've learned how much distance there is between the earth and the sun. We've even learned how hot the sun is. 
And we've even learned how to take a rocket ship and land on your moon. But in spite of all of our knowledge, we yet don't know how to appreciate your kindness. And right now, Lord, here we are calling on you right now. We're saying, Lord, stretch out your hand, your hand of mercy. We're not asking for more no knowledge. We don't need a whole lot of knowledge now. But what we need is wisdom to use the knowledge that you've given us. Oh, Jesus, right now, Lord, the devil don't want us to call you. He's made things so convenient for us until it seems that we don't need you. But I know what the trick of the enemy is. And I'm not ashamed to let you know that we need you right now. Come on in this room. Feel our waiting hearts. Feel our waiting souls. Stretch out your hand of mercy. Stretch out your hand of love. Somebody haven't felt you all day long. Somebody haven't felt you all week long. Taking my time today, I just want to talk to you because you made me the shepherd of this flock, and Lord, I can't move without you. Lord, I can't lead without you. Lord, your people are starving. We need a hearing from you. We need a rededication. We need a revisitation. We need a new anointing. We need the Holy Ghost to come down one more time. Oh! Oh! Disruption is everywhere. Confusion in the land. But I know that you're able. We're disturbed in our spirits. We're disturbed in our hearts. Children are dying. Young people are crying. Old folks are falling away. Be led astray, Lord. But I just won't accept what the devil is doing. Because I know that you are able to make a way out of no way. I know you're able to heal a sick body. Right now, Lord. Right now, Lord. You've got to hear me. I'm not asking you to hear me. But I'm telling you, you've got to hear me. Because in your word, you gave me a promise 20 years ago. You told me to call on you. You would be right there. We are frail. Human frailty. Come before an all powerful You've been listening to Hours of Salvation featuring the best in inspirational gospel music. And featuring the ministry of Pastor W.J. Campbell. This program has been sponsored by the St. James Church of God in Christ, 4147 West Roosevelt Road in Chicago. And we invite you to be with us next Saturday evening from 7 to 10 p.m. for Hours of Salvation with Pastor W.J. Campbell right here on Praise 92. Let every believer feel your presence. Let them feel you right now. Not tomorrow, not five minutes later, but every believer, let them feel you right now. Give us some more Holy Ghost. Stir up the fire. Get on our tongues. Let our tongue get loose. Let our tongue get loose. Give us some more joy. Joy, Lord. Joy, Lord. Joy.